This is Rainy. And this has been Welcome to the Journals of Awakening podcast. Here we go. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. We jump in with no go. Yeah. No, no flow. So how was your live this morning? My live was fantastic. I had 17 people pop in there on me. Wow. Got three hours and 15 minutes of watch time from it. And how does that make you feel? Great. Makes me feel good inside to know, you know, that many people care. And it's just been gaining traction, you know what I mean? Like a uh, momentum. Uh-huh. And it's really cool to see. Like if you keep at something, it actually starts to work. Is it still hard to keep up with YouTube with the kids here? Uh, yeah. Dog's barking. Sorry, guys. Um, yes. It's harder to make YouTube shorts, although my regular content is so routine that it's easy, you know, to do the podcast and the live streams. Yeah. That's easy for me. Like, I was able to pull 46 minutes off this morning, which is great, even with the kids here. You yeah. Know? So that's not hard, but coming up with shorts and keeping my mind thinking of content is hard because I'm more focused on the children. Yeah. Which I is, mean, I should be, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's I like... I guess, but... You're not really focused on the children. You're more anxious with the children, like, yes. the whole time. <laughs> anxious. Anxious is a great word for that. Um, I tried to break it down earlier. Like, on your live? Yeah, I tried to explain it. Like, yeah, you know, you just wait for something, and then, and then you know, you, you got yours that go by certain rules, and then you got the other that live with, you know, uh, the Queen of Frost. Oh, yeah. And uh, And they have no rules or whatever, right? And then they come here, and it's like, it's a little chaotic, because I have to, like, you know, be dad, which they're not used to. Well, they have different <laughs> rules. They have go to your room and cry kind of rules. Uh, yeah. And we have watch where you put your glass, because that's the edge of the table kind of rules. Right. Or so, or when you spill something, clean it. Yeah. Or, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, uh, their, their other house is just not... I imagine it's not clean. <laughs> well, it's not. Okay, because, so, so yeah. that's what I imagine based on their behavior. So no, it's just messy kids. He was like, uh, <clears throat> there's two boys, so I'll say he. Uh, he said something about dogs pooping everywhere. Mm-hmm. I said, oh, I don't have that problem. <laughs> my dog doesn't poop anywhere. No, yeah, my dog has separation anxiety, so when we're gone for a whole day, he won't poop. He'll just hurt his body. Yeah, it's quite it's, sad it's pretty sad yeah <laughs> he's got separation anxiety so we take good care of him don't you worry <laughs> i just feel like uh <clears throat> how about you um tell me how you've been since the boys have arrived everything good i feel super good i feel like i have a really good handle on it i've got a lot of patience better than i do yeah because they're three boys and you know you know these kids you know you, you yeah. don't you can't act surprised when Never, it's the no. same every single time you just have to but we're working with them. We got we got Landon for Christmas, he, or or have the the, the holidays. <laughs> we got him a, <laughs> an octopus that has sad or happy face. Yes, and that's to help. You know, because but he, I feel like I mean I feel like he puts it in a certain way, and we know how he feels. But I don't know. In uh, the moment, the heat of the moment, I, say, I find I it harder like to cool off than anyone else. Cannot control your emotions it's me yeah i'm the one but i feel like i've been really good at giving i like uh um making sure everyone's emotions are validated copacetic with the kids but then (coughs) you know you're a little crazy (laughs) so you know it's hard to get used to because when i'm just you know I'm used to it a certain way, and, and chaos kind of, you know, especially a lot of energy, it, it kind of makes me freak out. Always no, has. I know, and that's what it, it is, It kind of bugs too. me out, yeah, when people just throw a lot. Like, this is, just a minute ago, you know, yeah, I was walked into his too. bedroom, and I don't even know why, but they both walked out yelling, like, at the top of their lungs. But they weren't yelling at Not even at words. Each other. They, they were, were just, just making noise. Yeah. It was like, and I just, my mind lost control. I went there, and I was like, no, separate, to your rooms, oh my god. Yeah. And, like, they weren't doing anything. They were really, just, they weren't doing anything. They just make a fault. lot of noise. So and, uh, it's just a different household that is chaotic over there, so it's just quiet here all the time. Well, and that's the thing, because and Ben's going to think I'm crazy, and I, I told myself I wasn't going to bring this up for a long time, but okay. uh, I'm nervous. if we were to have another child, Oof. Ben thinks that it would be worse than this, and I think he just forgets that there's two different households. <coughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Chuck whether you have three or four, it's never going to be worse than this, because, you know, another child comes from this household, 
and it would just be a lot more calm. I was, yeah, I'm fidgeting. <laughs> She's peeling a sticker and making a pile of peel it sticker on the table. So. What the thing is, is that <laughs> these kids, they're really good kids. They're really good, and they have a lot of understanding yeah, for how I, the I world get it. works. It's just two different like, households, no, so yeah, it, it trips yeah. them up. They're like, oh, sh- I, I guess I forgot, Dad. You know, it's like, yeah, you don't scream at Dad's house. You definitely don't hit each other. Yeah. There's no hands-on in this house. Uh-uh. That one triggered me yesterday. Which one? When they were punching each other. Oh, I know, because... That's, yeah, I'm like... And that's the thing, too. Like, I don't even spank. What am I going to do, come in here and hit you harder? No, I can't. No. <laughs> you know, like... Ben forgets that we have boys. Yeah. And he also has a lot of childhood trauma. Yeah. I mean, and my brother straight up tried to kill me most of my childhood. Exactly. And, I mean, look at the parents he has. No yeah. one's trying to kill Same each other. Same ones I had. Accidents happen because they're boys and they run the house. <coughs> but nobody's actively trying to hurt each other. They just, they get over it. And they walk, they have to learn to work through it. Like, you gotta give them the space to fight it out because that's, that's how they figure out conflict resolution, you know? I guess. It's just an unfair fight. No, it's not. It's, it's three years, it's big size difference? No, there's no size difference. Well, weight, no, but size. Yeah, but that doesn't have anything to do with it because Jeez. because the weight comes into play and the muscle mass. Yeah, but it evens, it's when it a comes very... to a fight, even a professional fight, length, <coughs> your, 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 your freaking reach is the most important. If he, You know, Jason's got an extra six inches of reach on land, and that's like stick him three times before you can even get to him. Yeah, you know? that's true, that's true. But still, I mean, that's I like the interactions between Landon and Connor. So when Landon and Jason were six and three, um, yeah, that's accurate. Seven and four, that's how old they are. I'm like, why does this sound so wrong? <laughs> when Jason and Landon were seven and four, they already hated each other. Yeah. They had already begun, you know, the, the fighting, the wrestling, the tackling. And that's not the same way with Connor and Landon. And that, that's a big breath of fresh air because yeah. you know that they'll end up actually really liking each other. So yeah. you won't have to deal with the, the one fights can hope. <laughs> and one hurting, you know? Unless they're like play wrestling. But I think that they'll genuinely be more like, when they fight, it'll be more yelling at each <laughs> other than anything. And that's really cool. And I think that different relationship dynamics are so fascinating to look at anyway. Yeah, to have a split household. Yeah, because you, know, you, got, you got Jason who wants to not live here but not because of any other reason other than he likes where he is his yeah. location right. he, he well his mother under- gives him more independence yeah i was gonna say he doesn't think yeah. that that's bad and it's no. not necessarily bad it's just not what not i the, think a 10 year old should be doing it's not what we would do yeah exactly. it doesn't mean it's wrong you know what but, I mean? but he yeah. likes it and if he's not hurting then i'm not gonna hurt him you yeah. know i'm not gonna take that away from him he can figure life out at 10 if that's what it's going to be you know and that's bizarre but I, hey i was 15 i was on my own you know what i mean so it's, yeah that's a big difference yeah <laughs> well i know but i'm just saying in five years if he's able to be on his own hey <laughs> he won't have to be though <laughs> no be yeah no hell no 18 but, and then you get the fuck out exactly, exactly. <laughs> no i'm just kidding no nah, um, i'm kidding too yeah well, I, i'll find you a job wants to be here you know and now their cousin lives with them over there. So they have a, like, a oh, permanent right. babysitter yes. for right now. An adult babysitter, thank God. Yeah, but it's like, how much of an adult? You know? Like it don't matter. To me, I'm I'm thrilled about it. You I know? mean, that's true. Because they were being left alone. So this is... This no, is they were being put in a youth club with people that well, have, like, CPR too. certifications and that's stuff. That's shitty, too. Yeah, but it's, like, safer. I don't care safer but, or not it should you raise your kids not the system but yeah it's just i think land it doesn't like how everybody but his mom is raising him and he wants to go to the same school as connor which is cool because he has friends there already because he played on the baseball team <laughs> thanks he played on the baseball team out here and <coughs> which is something i want connor to do if i get to it and the baseball team here isn't school specific because the town is so small it is uh County-wide. County-specific, right? yeah, exactly. And then all you out there who are like, oh, my God, county. Like, there's going to be a million kids. No, no, our county is very small. Like it's 20 like kids max. Yeah. <coughs> We're talking kids in the same age group, you know. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, it would be really cool if, like, Connor and 